Welcome back, King Friends. I'm continuing to get ready for uh, the Be Capped show this weekend. And now I'm at the point where I need to label all the plants I've kind of put together. I'm still not done repotting up uh, all my pings. But here, let me just kind of quickly just show you. So I have a full shelf, almost full, of all the pings that I'm bringing to the show this weekend. I'm at the stage where I need to label them up. So this video is gonna be kind of like a little review of a new label maker that I picked up. Before we get into the video, I might as well make it a, a good time uh, putting these uh, tags together. So I have another glass ready. I'm gonna pour me some uh, Hibiki Japanese wine. As you can tell, I'm getting a little bit lower. I've read through uh, your comments uh, last video. Thank you for all the suggestions. And I've picked up a Macallan 12. Um, it came in a blue bottle, I got it at Costco. I think it was maybe around like $65 or so, 65 to 70 bucks. Here we go. So cheers out there to each one of you. I appreciate everybody for uh, stopping by, watching my videos. Hopefully you're liking what I'm sharing, uh, all the content that I'm creating uh, just for all the pings that I have here in my office. So I got to label up over 200 pings and I definitely don't want to do that by hand. So in the past, I've been handwriting all of my labels. These new labels, like one side is super glossy. You can't write on it very well. I was like, oh, I gotta be maybe a little bit more professional, uh, make it easier for my customers who, you know, buy my pings to know which pings they are. What I've bought was right here. It is a D30 Fomemo heat thermal or thermal heat uh, label maker. So here it is. It is small and compact. It actually looks like a, like maybe like a first generation iPod. I don't know if you're old enough to maybe remember what an original iPod looks like. Uh, for those of you out there, that was like our first portable like music player that played like MP3s. You can store maybe like 20 songs in there. Right now we take it for granted, right? You store all the, the music that you have on your iPhone. You just kind of combined it all into like one device. I also bought uh, an add-on, which is about 300 additional like white labels. D30 Phone Memo Label Maker. You have to download an app. I have to use my iPad because my phone is recording right now. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. First thing, what you have to do is you have to load in uh, the tape, uh, the labels into uh, the unit. Right now, the size that I have is 12 millimeters by 44 uh, millimeters. Once I turn this on, you see a little green light um, on there. I'm connecting right now via um, Bluetooth. And this is the app. It is called Printmaster. And this allows you to, you know, design all of your labels. I think the reason why I got this too was the ability to have multiple lines because you know, uh, ping names, sometimes they're, you know, some are longer than others. What I liked about this too, is you can actually upload like an image. I've done one test print. I just wanted to kind of check this out. Here's what the label looks like. So it looks pretty clean. I like it. It's very, um, very simple uh, to use. In the app itself, you can have templates. So I've kind of created like one template. And then what I've done was just kind of saved other ping names uh, here. And then what I'm going to do is bring a tray down one by one. What I've done was when I potted up the tray, I just put a, a little like sticker on there just so I know what the pings are and then how many. Full tray, I have 12 pirouettes. I will need to do is 
edit one of them. I don't have like the screen sharing or anything to show you how this goes. So let me just kind of, I'll flash my iPad every once in a while. So this is um, a little, a label that I have already saved, which is Moranesis. So how do I make it like into a pirouette? It allows you to increase the font. You can make it like a little bit bigger in the controls. So here, let me show you. I have like a label right now that I've edited. And then just to show you, I have like my logo image right there. There's an option where you can insert image kind of just resize it. You can kind of, you know, use your fingers to, to squeeze it, you know, just to scale it down or make it a little bit bigger. And then there's controls just right down here where you can control like the font size. Uh, what's cool here is you can simply just kind of use your fingers to drag your label or drag the text where you would want it. I try to keep it nice and centered. There are grid lines to kind of help you once you're done, there's a button right down here at the bottom. I think you can click on it, you can click on save. It'll give me a prompt for save or save as. And I do wanna keep this as a template. So what I'll do is I'll do save as, then label it the ping name that I'm going to have so I can always have it for later. It takes a little bit to, to save. Just gotta be a little bit patient. a little mushroom kind of bouncing up and down it'll save it and then when you're ready to print you just click on print label which is oops print label which is right down below right it brings you to the next screen and all i'm looking for is the number of copies which is down below i know that i have 24 of these so i'm gonna watch before I do that, I want to just print out a couple, just to make sure, right? You don't want to print a full 24. Here it goes, I'm gonna hit print. There's two labels. That's pretty cool. It printed just like I wanted to. Uh, my image isn't like the, the best. I added another picture back in there, right there, but I just kind of blew it up a little bit bigger just because it's uh, thermal. Not sure how clear I can make uh, the image. All right, I'm gonna print out 24, let's go. Let's do it. Image isn't like the best, but I don't think it's like a, a label issue or a print. And then you just kind of have to wait on your device. It'll wait till it is all printed out. And then while I'm at it, you know, you know what to do. Of course, you know, I, I buy all my products or so most of it on Amazon. I have two different sets of labels here. One from like King Lake, just another plant labels. They actually are slightly different. So let me see which one do I actually want to use for my plant. I may use this kind of like a uh, slightly different one. Uh, the label just fits fine. Okay, I have 24 labels. Oh no. It said my printer is like low power. So I charged this up yesterday and now printing 24 of them shut it down. Uh-oh, do I got to keep this thing plugged in? All right, well, there's, I guess, one downside. You print 24, so I'm going to keep this plugged in. What I don't know is, does this function while it's plugged in? If it doesn't, oh, that's gonna be a, a problem because, you know, I got 200 of these to label up. Well, here's what it looks like. Pretty simple, I'm just looking for simple, nothing extravagant at all. 
I just want the the names of the pings to be readable readable. All right, and then as I am labeling these up, I should look ahead. So let's see if this works when it's plugged in. Okay, so when it's plugged in, now it's telling me it's searching for printer. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. Update on the label maker. Because last night I finished uh, labeling all my pings, over 200 of them. I didn't record it all, but I wanted to give uh, just a little update uh, as I was using it. Um, I said at the beginning that uh, I wasn't able to charge uh, the label maker while I was printing. It wouldn't like connect. However, it did connect after a little bit. So you are able to uh, keep it plugged in, keep it charged while producing a label. So that was a good part um, on it. Uh, there isn't a kind of like a power indicator um, on this. Couldn't tell if the labels would stop printing, if I was to print 24 or not, but I did not have an issue obviously with the, the, the power plugged in. So that's a good part. I've labeled up all the tags. Check it out. That actually looked pretty cool. Looked pretty nice. All right, one tray all done. Check that out, see? This appeases my OCD. <laughs> nice and uniform, all in the right row. Yeah, that's something that I like. All labeled up. They look very nice. And then it'll be easy for read for anyone that wants to buy uh, any of my pings. So that I'm actually excited for. I will continue to use uh, the label printer to finish up uh, labeling the rest of my pings. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, me doing every single like label. I got over 200 uh, pings to label up, so you can just imagine uh, how long that would take. I think it probably took me to label up those 48 pings, probably, probably about like 20 minutes uh, or so. But as far as uh, this label maker, like I said at the beginning, I'll be doing um, a little review on this. So what are my impressions? Well, first, I can tell you it's nice and sleek. It's compact, very lightweight, actually very easy to use. Literally, there's one button on there to connect uh, to your app. Uh, ease of use uh, of uh, the app itself, I would say it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, you can design, label, whatever you want. Uh, Plants is just my thing. Uh, you can use it to your, your heart's content. I think what, I, what really attracted me, though, to, to this one was, of course, the price. It was about $40 on Amazon and uh, an additional, I think it was like $13 for three, three sets of uh, additional like labels. I think they contain about a hundred uh, each um, in them. So I'm gonna have enough to label up uh, my pings. So would, am I satisfied uh, with this? I would say yes. Other than the, the slight, I don't know if it's really a charging issue or not, but it after I charged it up for like the five minutes that I was labeling up uh, my first set of pings, I unplugged it. Uh, it looks like you cannot use it while it's uh, being charged. So that's maybe one downside, because I guess it would be nice to charge it while you're, you know, just in case it doesn't like if you have a lot of labels to to print it doesn't just stop in the middle that's what i don't know 
is if you have a lot to print out, if it stops in the middle, do you have to charge it back up and then wait? And then will it kind of continue to print or you just have to reset, count how many labels you've done and then print out uh, the remainder of it. So that's what I don't know um, of this. So if you do like this, what I've just shown you, uh, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I am definitely gonna use it. It definitely beats uh, out uh, handwriting all my labels. That's one thing I was uh, truly dreading was, do I actually have to handwrite all my labels? So I'm grateful for uh, this product. And it's very, actually, it's very inexpensive. And as you saw me just labeling them all up, they looked pretty professional. So it just, it's nice and sleek, very simple and it should uh, just kind of help the shoppers, you know, my customers look at the ping names to know which ones that they're buying. And it should last like a long time. Definitely take a, another sip. I'll be uh, drinking more uh, after this video to finish up uh, my pings there. Here is a final look at what the pings look like with all the labels on it. It looks very nice and clean, organized and clear enough for my customers to see which pings that they are looking to buy. So overall, uh, I would say that this uh, label maker is well worth uh, the price. Uh, I will put a link in the description if you also found this very useful, it definitely will help me out if you click the link in my description to buy it from Amazon. Uh, a portion of that is an affiliate link. As you know, it's at no cost to you, but it definitely helps support me uh, and my channel as I continually grow it. And that's it for the, the review part. So that wraps it up uh, for this video. I definitely appreciate uh, you coming along my little journey uh, in my little pingdom. I definitely look forward, if you are watching this, or you are in the Bay Area, to drop on by to the BCAP show, say hi, uh, cheers as well. Obviously, I'm not gonna be drinking at the event, but um, I always just like to cheers people. So say hi. I always like to meet uh, new people, and if you do like uh, what I'm putting out, uh, definitely help me out by uh, giving this video a like. Subscribe uh, to my channel as well. I hope to uh, continually grow how I like to show how I am just uh, taking care of my pings here in my office. And I'm hoping in the future uh, I can do another project, maybe like outside of my office. I do feel that I'm either lacking some space or maybe I need some something outside. I've been thinking about possibly having like a greenhouse and, and maybe if you watched my last video where I looked at uh, my Moranesis that was in natural sunlight because natural sunlight makes the pings very large. Obviously the artificial lights like the LEDs will stress it out and bring more color out. So maybe I'll grow some outside, get some sunlight, let them flourish, get very large. I can bring them inside, uh, have some LEDs on it, and then also stress it out a little bit to bring out the colors. So that's an uh, opportunity that uh, I am looking to try. So with that, uh, have a great night. I appreciate it. And once again, cheers and see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye-bye. And I'm off to labeling more of my pings. All right, take care. Bye.